Ladies and gentle bitches, welcome back, welcome to the channel, HT Hayes, my name is Troy, and today I have the pleasure of finally diving into one of the most anticipated albums of the last few years. We've been waiting five years for this sophomore album from the one and only SZA, my favorite choice in rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> the album's titled SOS, as for save our soul, save our ship, save our shit. Seems like she's gonna be saving a lot of things on this album because it's 23 tracks long. Holy shit. shit. But it's clocking in at about an hour and eight minutes, so you know, a lot of two minute kind of songs. And also with a couple of producers that I am super excited to hear on this thing. We have Jay Versace, which is an old school Viner turned music producer, original internet kids, let's go. And we have Leon Thomas III, who was in Victorious. We got Omar Fendi, Thank God for Cody, and some features starting off with Mr. Don Tolliver, Old Dirty Bastard. Oh my God, is that a sample? Is that gonna be like an actual, like an old, because I'm, I'm pretty sure he's deceased. Yeah, he died, he passed away in 2004. Rest in peace to Old Dirty Bastard. The girl Phoebe Bridgers, oh my God, white girl of the month. There she goes! And a little bit of Travis Scott, so, you know, kind of a mixed bag. Don't really know what I'm gonna be jumping into. I loved Control, even with all of the grandma interludes. I know, some people have mixed feelings on them, but me personally, I thought they were touching. And I wonder if we're gonna get even deeper into some more emotional content with this album. But all right, let's dive into the first track titled SOS, the same as the title of the album. Says it is going to belly flop dive from this uh, board, you know, that we're seeing in the cover art into the ocean to rescue us. With some Morse code. Oh, and a little explosion with some horns. Give me a second, give me a minute. Nah, little bitch, can't let you finish. Oh, right, I need Mrs. Oh, Mrs. Oh, bitch. Oh, that song she got for me. Oh, that shit I gave for free. I don't want it back, want it back. Oh, I miss her flow. Oh, I'm so crazy. Oh, oh, my God, crazy. God, all the flow switches. Ain't no writers, that's just me. Ain't no spiteful, I'm just. No beat me. drop yet. Can't hate it. So classic, that ass so fat, it look natural, it's not. I talk bullshit a lot. Oh no my god, I I'm talk good. bullshit. Damn right, I'm the one. Damn right, I'm the one. Coming back, she's so candid. Coming back, she's nice like bandit. <laughs> Coming back, you can can't squeeze. Ooh. I'm dumping like press squeeze. I'm horny like suck these. So daring like touch me. Oh, all the funny shit is die. All the funny shit is Dude, vocals popping off. I tried to cry. She was on my mind. Bro, she's sounding like an old school ass sample, bro. Oh my God, the gun cocking into the into Kill Bill. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Just spitting. Honestly, it, I did have to kind of listen to it again to really capture all of these little flows that pop up, dude. Effortless. Just sliding all over this beat, bro. Oh my God, crazy. Just a crazy opener. Clearly she had to get some shit off of her chest. So classic, that ass so fat, it look natural, it's not. I've been seeing that one pop up on, on, on Twitter a little bit, and, and I think that that's kind of funny because um, people just, I don't know, I don't really keep up with who's got what and what's going on, who's getting new lips and new asses and new, you know, pectorals and abs, you know, whatever. But, like, the fact that people care so much is kind of, like, it's kind of weird to me. But at least she's, like, coming clean and being like, yeah, I got my body done. I remember her talking about being, like, in the tiny booty club. And then I was looking at pictures and I was like, girl, I, I don't know. I don't know what district your club is in, but that is not a small peach by any means. OK, she says it's organically grown, oh, <laughs> made with her fresh squeeze. I'm dumping like press squeeze. I'm horny like suck these. So darling, like touch me. Oh. She's squeezing me into orange juice, bro. Well, let's get into the next one. Kill Bill. She's bringing in the Tarantino vibes. It's about to get gory. I like Tarantino. I don't love Tarantino. Some of that feet shit is weird, bro. Gives me Dan Schneider vibes. I'm still a fan even though it's salty. Hate to see you with some other but know you happy. Hate to see you happy if I'm not the one driving. No, you might 
might not want to commit homicide, girl. No, don't do it. Oh, I kind of want her to do it, though. Is that fucked up? Rather be in jail than alone? Oh my god, SZA is my favorite rapper, bro. She's always looking for that perfect piece, bro. Ooh. Oh, I love the reverse. Oh, these lyrics. Oh my god, Pen Game is crazy. Pen Game is crazy. It's like a lullaby type vibe, just like slowly infecting my brain. Ooh, that little guitar in the left ear. Oh, she said, I knew what I was doing. Just killed it with the beat slow down. Oh wow. Oh the drop in the three chord is beautiful. Oh I love that when that oh music syncs up with the lyrics, bro. Okay, dude. Oh my god, that literally was a movie. That's so beautiful. Oh, and honestly, a little terrifying. Like her singing about m literal murder with these like just romantic little lullabies floating down with these melodies. Oh, saucy, bro. Saucy. Next tune is Seek and Destroy. More explosions, more murder, more chaos, more destruction. Where's Where's Gru? Is he going to pop up through here? That last one was produced by Carter Lang and Rob Bizell. Another one by Carter Lang, Rob Bizell, and Scum. Just Scum. Just Scum. Oh, shit. I don't know what Jeff Bezos produced. That's crazy, dude. And then thank God for Cody. Ooh. You push me past my own capacity, boy. Oh my god. Oh, hang on those notes. Oh, percussion. Coming in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We need to cover this verse before you do it to me even more. Sorry. The bridge. Asking angels for protection and then talking about raising penises. Chasing fat ass and fake connections. Chasing facades in all directions. Oh every direction maybe not just one chances are i've got no direction begging my angels for protection danger arises i deflect it <laughs> new dick arrives i erect it <laughs> i love it i love it i love it do it to me You hear that little bass lick? I hear that. All the pain I know, I used to feel my soul, no control, I do it to you. Oh my god, that's okay. I, I so Travis Scott in the next song, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I love the fact that, like, Artists this year have realized that they can put transitions in songs. Like, can we just say like thank you, Beyonce? Just 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 for one one time. So far, transitions are like three for three. These relationships sounds like sound like they suck though. Like it sounds like she's really kind of blaming herself for like hurting the people that she's in the relationships with. 
all the hurt I know uh, I, is used to heal my soul, I, but she has no control of it. So she just does it to her partner. She does it to you. I hope she's going to be okay. I guess we're going to find out, you know, going into the next tune. Low. Oh, God. Is she at her? Is she at her lowest? Oh. I'm on the loop. I'm out of range. Oh, I stay out the way. In my business, call me out to choose and violence. If you see me out in public, you don't know me, keep it silent. In the bedroom, I be screaming, but outside, I keep it quiet. You know, I'm scared, I'm the lowest. Oh. But see if you can keep it, let nobody know shit. I need you to get the fuck on my space. Replacements yeah. on the way, please don't play. Fucking, I ain't making love no more. Oh. Oh. I don't know what the fuck you crying for. Oh my god, Cora change. Oh my god, it almost sounds like Arabic. Crazy runs, dude. Oh my god. Keep it low ski on the low. What? God, those beat stops are just unreal. Feels like I'm in the fucking nether in this part or the verse before the pre. Fuck me. Cunning down this side of me. I like to get it popping, but these bitches in my business got me out here choosing violence. If you see me out in public, you don't know me. Keep it silent. Shh. In the bedroom, I be screaming, but outside, I keep it quiet. She keeps her business on the low. She likes her private shit, like she says in the second verse. You can have a stable relationship and, and, be, and be private about it. This is actually a little bit more healthy. Not so toxic. As toxic as the low ski goes. <laughs> but moving into the next one. Love language. Okay. Personally, I'm a big touch guy. I love touching Angela. I'm just always, I constantly, like even when we're like really hot in bed and, and, and we're not in the cuddling mood, my little pinky toe is always like, dink. Kind of reminds me of the Adams Family. I, dude, I'm sorry. I just got to mention the Adams Family right now or Wednesday. Are y'all, have y'all seen Wednesday? It is so good. Oh my God. I just love how romantic uh, Morticia and uh, Gomez are. I love how, how it's like, they're just so in love with each other. Anyways, anyways, getting back in to SZA love language. What's her love language? Chocolates, candy. That's Angela's. <laughs> Shots coming out, first verse. She's trying. Girl, he doesn't deserve, it doesn't sound like he even deserves you, bro. He, you are putting it on such a pedestal. I like the short chorus. You get into the verses really fast. James Charles. He is he is doing some work this year. This is from Hit Different. With Ty Dolla Sign. Dude, I thought her runs kind of sounded like Ty. Wednesday, is that you on the cello? Oh, those chords are so sexy. Oh, and finishing with the, oh, a little bit more. Oh my God, she's keeping the theme. She's keeping the theme of the album moving through with the production. That's heat. I love that little production element. Literally ties everything together. I love that. Oh my God, we are only six songs in. Dude, Love Language was fire. I think the outro of Lang Love Language was my favorite part. Holy shit. Call me like you got confessions queued up. Like your last bitch looked chewed up, baby. Oh, oh my God. Old girl was just sitting in the back. She's like, damn, bitch, why you? What the fuck? This is your whole relation. You're trying to connect with your 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 boy, and 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 you just you got smoke for me. <laughs> 
Call me like you don't regret missing this old thing back. Call me when you know the difference between me and chickens. Oh my God. I would hope you would know the difference between a, a chicken and and the gr Grammy nominated award winning singer songwriter SZA. I guess they both have breasts and thighs. If I really do want to think about it on a different level, is is chickens just like a term? I'm sure it's just like slang for like women. <laughs> Blind is the next one. Okay, so we're 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 just full on Gojo, right? All right. Ooh. Oh wait, this is this is for the music video. Niggas want me to get ratchet. Niggas want me to attack it. Put the hood on and call me cash. Mind you like Bob Saget. Oh, this flow is. Oh, I've been wanting to hear this flow. Nigga, no fasting. I don't care how much you knew me in the past tense. Mind keep us as let my space speak freely. I just love how much SZA uses like these kinds of instruments. My pussy precedes me. And you still plan to pick me. It's so embarrassing All of the things I need Living inside of me I can see it Oh my god, this chorus is so addicting I can see I'm blind Oh, oh the minor Oh, the four minutes That's so... Scratches that little itch in my brain. Jesus. Oh. She can't see it. She can't see a, a future. Oh wow. Oh, I love that tight little echo on the end of that too, bro. Cause my past can't escape me. My pussy precedes me. How the time changed. You still talking about babies and I'm still taking plan B. He's talking about babies, but yet at the same time, she's still going to the store and having to pick up plan B because of, you know, them clearly not being ready to have kids. Just wow. Like, wow. It, that's. It's so painful to have a partner who's just like, clearly you can tell they're not on the same page as you and you don't know when they're ever going to be because you just can't see the future because in that way, you are blind. Blind to looking past their problems as well just because you want to stay with them for whatever reason, the sex, the, the, the comfort, the security, whatever it is. Damn. Personally, I can't relate to it, but like, damn, dude. Clearly this shit is powerful. The next song is called Used. Oh. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind, wanting to start again? Sorry, I just... Sometimes these lyrics just resonate with me. Yeah, I'll push your ass out of here. What the fuck? Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who is that? Who is, who is, who, who's, who is that? Norma Rowe. I don't know who this is. Who is Norma Rowe? Is it her grandma? For real? She's back? No, for real. Oh my God. Norma, what are you saying? Yeah, I'll cuss your ass out in a minute. Oh, Jesus. Okay, Christ. Sorry, Norma. Yeah, I'll cuss your ass out in a minute. Sorry, Norma. Yes, Norma. Used to be used like this. Bread, oh my God, bass and drum combo is crazy. Moment stolen taste better. Ooh, moment stolen taste better. Dawn Tolliver. It's an interesting kind of chorus. I just, world and girl, I don't know. Call me a girl and world hater, but uh, I just feel like there's more rhymes, you know? You can't trust nobody you ain't been broke with. Niggas gotta break my focus, bitch. I'm Obi-Wan, you got in the mix. Bitch, I'm Obi-Wan? Okay. Yeah, this one's this one's cool. And then having this beat come in for the outro. Thank you. Oh, I love that bass. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I don't really know how I feel about the feature. I feel like it was it was alright. 
It was all right. I feel like the Obi-Wan line, it was definitely the highlight of that track. Yeah, because I don't break my focus, bitch. I'm Obi-Wan. Oh, somebody get her a Star Wars contract. I'm trying to see SZA like completely blue, bro, or like green or like whatever, some other color that hasn't been taken by either Marvel or James Cameron. I don't know, but I'm trying to see that motherfucker in a movie, bro. <laughs> All right, moving into the next one. Snooze. Well, hopefully we're not going to be uh, hitting snooze on the album. Hopefully we don't get hit with some uh, album fatigue. We are seven tracks in out of 23. Digging, digging the laid back vibes with these kits. I mean, the drums, the drum, I mean, the drums, dude. The drums are just. Oh my God, the flow. This, you know what this is? This is touch your body music. Ooh. Serenading us? God, just kind of taking out with the acoustic and the bro 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 I'm sorry I'm sorry that dude that chorus is straight out of like oh this just the silkiest smoothest little 90s bro oh my god is that interpolated or is that just does that just scissors pen game um that is so addicting holy shit when I'm with you uh, the come down is crazy. It's like running on top of her own vocals. Oh my god, I just love how dude nobody sings like SZA, bro. No, I just I just love how she has her own steez, bro. In the drop tie ride with you, I feel like Scarface. Why bitch with the Bob, I'll be your main one. Oh, shit. This argument back up to my place. Ask you have a stick of hole when you not here. Ain't a home when you not here. Are the groom when you not here? I'm saying. Ooh, the repetition. When I'm with you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sliding. Sliding. Slip and sloping everywhere, bro. Her stand is. Oh my god. Oh, this vocal effect. Oh my god, it kind of sounds Daft Punky. Oh my god. I just love how the last chorus reflects the emotion change from her begging and pleading, not for him to keep playing her and like threatening to leave because she's so down for him bro wow somebody get this woman a good relationship please she deserves it bro i don't i don't know if that vocal is a vocoder because there was just so much like sibilance and like like vocal texture to it it might have just been filtered and like auto-tuned a very specific way because usually when it's like a vocoder or something like that you're gonna hear kind of like the disconnect between the keys and you don't really hear it with that so that's kind of what makes me think it's more of like a like an actual vocal but such a cool effect so cool oh my god going into the next song is called notice me notice me senpai <laughs> Ooh. Who's producing this one? How is she breathing? How is she breathing? Is that not the same thing? I understand, man. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's so fast. Spitting. Ooh. 
I like the chord changes. <laughs> You're calling him a hoe. You tried to wipe him. The lyric flip on that last outro, kind of painting that ending picture where he's just continuing to fuck up, man. If he keeps moving like that. And again, with the little Morse code, dude. Oh my God, that's so tight. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, he is a hoe. <laughs> He's a hoe. Next on the list is Gone Girl, another potential movie reference. Is she channeling some more lead female role energy? First we had the Kill Bill moment, now we have the Gone Girl moment. Okay, cool. She's a film buff, I get it. I wonder what her uh, letterbox would look like. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's so fucking fresh. That's so fresh. The reverb on hang time, dude. Fuck. Sorry. Oh, just kind of came a little bit. Yes, you do. Okay. Oh, you better treat her right because if not, she's gone. I can't wait for the tiny desk. I'm sorry, I had to say it. Drums solely pushing this right now. Love it. So simple. Harmonies, too. Dude, just what a pen game. Oh my god, I think I like this. I like it like this, bro. Ooh, it's a bit of a different kit, too. That sporadic snare. Oh my god, I'm in love with this real kit. Oh my god. Dude, oh my god, dude. In honestly, in the same way that I love how like tactile and real Adele has for her like music, it's kind of a similar vibe. I honestly would love a collaboration between the two. Just because like I feel like their styles right now are just meshing a little bit and I love the I love that vibe, dude. Oh my god. Those trumps. God damn. The next tune is produced by the boy Jay Versace and it is called Smoking on My X-Pack. <laughs> that is the most YouTube title uh, song name I have seen all week. Roll a clip and run it back, I'm really like that. I'm really not Ooh. friendly, I need my credit, niggas hate that. I need the numbers, I need the data, got you talking crazy. I oh. could have you niggas sideshow. I'm bobbing like psycho, you got oh. like Texaco. I'm fucking on hard throbs, I got your favorite My favorite rapper. rapper. Like, I heard a dick was wet. Favorite, rap. favorite athlete screaming, take oh. me back. I make no exception. <laughs> the lesser part of me loves all the cat. He's screaming, get back together. I'm screaming back at a bus trick. Hawaii for weather. Smoking on my ex back tonight. Smoking on my ex back tonight. Oh my god, she is smoking, smoking somebody, on bro. <laughs> smoking on. You can trust in me. Oh. No way, this is this short. Ooh, 
Ooh, the little sample pitched up. Dude, what? What the? F Why? Why is that only a minute and 20 seconds, dude? Oh my god, bro. The production was sick. I love the sample. I love how that comes in, dude. Oh my god, and she was... Bro, these lyrics? Good lord. Got you talking crazy. Abracadabra, you N-word sideshow. <laughs> I'm bobbing like side... Like psycho. Sideshow bomb. Psycho. You gassing like Texaco. Infection like microbe. Holy shit, she's getting scientific. Got your favorite rapper blocked. <sighs> Who is she talking about? I need to know. I heard the dick was whack. Your favorite athlete screaming, text me back. Oh! Dude, it's bad enough having a girl as bad as she is just thinking that your dick game is whack, but to put it in a song <laughs> and make her whole, her whole audience sing it back to her. Holy shit, that's so, that's wild, bro. That's, oh, that's big smoke. Yeah, she's smoking on the X-Pack, bro. Holy shit. Oh, and apparently it's a very small pack. It's a very small pack. All right, getting into the next song with a feature from Mrs. Phoebe Bridgers. Ghost in the Machine. Let's go. Haunt me, Phoebe. Haunt me. She's got priorities. Can you distract me from all the disaster? Can you touch on me and I'll call me after? I need humanity. Y'all like humanity. Calling humanity. Craving humanity. Oh my god. She just wants a connection, bro. Having that little part of the verse almost have a robotic flow and her talking about being so caught up in the cycle, feeling like a robot. Oh, wow. Sad Guru, because it says that SZA is talking to him in the outro. It says here that, that SZA and Sad Guru had met November 1st, 2021, and had working and had worked on inner engineering, a process of using Yoda, a process of using yoga and meditation to balance daily challenges with internal peace and well-being. Damn. Get ready. Get ready. Okay, for what? The next song is called F2F. What is that going to stand for? It kind of reminds me of Foo Fighters from Stone Ocean. I like that acoustic a lot.
Oh my god. Dude, a pop punk vibe with SZA flowing in the verses? What the fuck? Oh. With the same producers that have been on the album the entire time? What's happening? What's, ha what's happening? I feel like I'm getting affected by a stain right now. What the f Okay. Uh so what was that? <laughs> what the what? A Green Heart Club song. That's what that song is, dude. Oh my god. So obviously lots of rock instrumentation. I mean straight up power chords rocketing through that chorus. SZA is missing her person and says that she has sex with other people because she misses them so much and she is looking for someone to comfort her and love her like her ex did. One of SZA's best friends in music, Lizzo, huh? Has a writing credit on the song for real? Oh my God. Melissa Lizzo Jefferson. Yes, she is right there. Holy shit, that's dope. I had no idea they were friends, but that's incredible. Oh my God. All right, well, hey, moving on to the next tune. We have Nobody Gets Me and it's track number 14. Some more acoustic, all right. Is Ed Sheeran gonna pop up out of the woodwork? Oh shit, no, but Benny Blanco is. Wait, what? Oh my god. Holy Nobody shit, Benny. Benny. Oh my. Oh my god. I'm gonna ball. I'm gonna ball. I'm gonna ball. I'm gonna ball. Sorry. like on the other side of the, the glass. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is about her ex fiance? Oh. Oh, no. oh no! What was all that smoke? What was all that smoke she had for her exes? These shitty men. And now with this? It does kind of sound like the climb from Miley Cyrus. <laughs> it kind of does. It just, I feel like it hits on that emotional beat, that familiar acoustic kind of ballad -y emotional beat that uh, that she's hit on. But wow, oh my God, Gor gorgeous song. The next song is called Conceited. <laughs> Conceited. So just work, 
totally totally flipping the script on this one let's get let's get cocky this one's produced solely by thank god for cody Ooh, ooh, different energy in this She just got it done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The minion bar? The mini the mi I Can we rewind to when I was asking where Gru was, where all the violence was coming from, and now we have a minions? God damn, I I'm too good. I'm just too I'm just Good, folks. Oh, feeling like my lobby. Oh, I got no reason to depend on you. No reason to make friends. I'm go. Oh, uh, you're any friends. Fuck them. No reason to make friends. I'm this is Wednesday's favorite song on the album. God. That's appropriate. That's appropriate for a song called Conceited, the post chorus just to be me. <laughs> oh, I love her. Classic glass break symbol. Oh. That is like that's that's the SZA signature. Uh, <clears throat> Ooh, little chopping. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be if I'm at the races. I am betting on SZA. The next song is called Special. Another one with Benny Blanco, Shellback. Omar Fendi and Blake Slayton. Dude, Blake has been making the rounds. He was just on the uh, Love album that we listened to that was uh, horrible, actually. <laughs> let's just let's just keep listening to good music, shall we? Oh, it's so cute. It's like little Animal Crossing music. I wish I was that girl from the Gucci store She never wore any makeup and she owns couture I got pimples where my beauty mark should be I got dry skin on my elbows and knees I never liked her It's okay, Wanted girl. To I'm a dry bitch, too Like I was an ordinary girl I wish I was special I give all my special away to a loser no, I'm just a loser. I used to be special, but you made me hate me. Regret that I changed me. I hate that you made me just like you. Oh, fuck just him, like dude. You. I wanted to be thick, now I wanna be thin You gon' hate me now Boy, you got me fucked up Boy, you got me fucked up, fucked up. Oh. Thinking about us fucking I don't wanna see you Why'd you have to treat me Like I was an ordinary girl I I was Oh, wow Oh, my God Just like you Oh, my God Yo, fuck this guy who the fuck is this? Is this all Drake? Oh my god. Oh my god. Are there gonna be any more Benny Blanco songs? Because I think I'm gonna have to refuel my tear ducts, dude. I can't. I can't. I can't with this man. I can't with this man. He, he makes me. <laughs> the change between the verse one and the verse two. Verse one, she's asking him why he never saw her as a ordinary girl or as an art piece because she didn't do the kinds of things that girls he was interested in. And now in verse two, she's saying she wanted to be thick. Now she wants to be thin. Her Pilates are in, you know, bust the windows out. Clearly she got with them, but 
it's not going well. Saying that he got her fucked up because he fucked another girl. And then she says, right at the end, I don't want to see you. Why do you have to treat me like I was an ordinary girl? Oh, my God. The duality of what she wanted versus what she had back then. Oh, my God. It's like no matter what she does, she's just trapped in this endless cycle of just shitty relationships. When she gives so much. Oh, my God. Woo! Okay. Ah. Ah, collecting myself back together for the next song. Too late. Is it too late? <laughs> is it? Is it? Oh, it's not too late for this beautiful acoustic guitar, though. Holy shit. Oh, and that synth. Oh, my God. Oh, it's like I'm floating through Kingdom Hearts, bro. Oh my god. So many runs. Ooh, the hi hat. What's a G stance? I only know T stance. Oh, such a catchy chorus too. I mean, it's already, it's already in there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Such a fun island vibe, dude. Holy shit. So many different, like, genres she's kind of touching on. Honestly, dude, her saying this is like her last album, it makes me sad, but also I'm really glad that she, like, fleshed out so much to give us for the last one. I really hope it's not, like, honestly, but... You know, so I barely believe that this album was coming out. But all right, next tune, Far. If there is another album that's coming, I hope it's not too far. <laughs> How do I deal with rejection? Ooh, good question. I'm with a lot of rejection right now. Damn. That makes me feel very small. Who would, re who would reject SZA? Oh my god, she's fucking eating up these beats, bro. Oh my god, this bass. Oh. Oh, stutter. Dude, the amount of flows she's just giving away right now that's is, is wild, bro. It always feels new too. Bro. It's all about distancing herself. Oh my god. Oh, the production is. Far like you don't recognize me. Wow. The double meaning of far like you don't recognize her, but far as in she keeps you far away so you don't recognize who the real her is. Wow. Dude, dude, I saw that apparently there was a bunch of artists that she reached out to that just did not 
you know, hit her back with verses that she was looking for. Imagine this album, but it but it's st- being stacked with verses from like other hype artists. Oh my. Phoebe Bridgers has the time of day. Yes, she does. And honestly impressive that she's keeping, she's really keeping my attention all the way through the album. I mean, we're on track 19 now, which is shirt, which is something we've obviously heard before, but we're still going to jam. So let's get into it. Oh, dude, those artists probably thought they had like so long. <laughs> they were like, ah, this is not really dropping, bro. We don't need to send that shit in. Oh, the drums just do something to my body. Oh, comfort in my sins, dude. She's not going to church. She's not allowed. Oh, too naughty. Oh my god. Oh my god. I really like that she like kept this for the back half to kind of like reinvigorate that uh energy right towards the back end. Oof. <sighs> All right. Well, this next song is actually featuring uh, Travis Scott, which I totally fucked up earlier in the track list, even though I think he was actually on that song. It did say so on Genius. So I, I didn't think I was tripping, but I just didn't. I didn't. I didn't know if he had like an actual feature on the album. But the song is called Open Arms. With arms right open. Do you know the money I would pay to see Travis Scott cover? With arms right open. When you do your best, you can, I told you, when you do your best, hell, that's all you can do. Okay. You Thanks. and me and anybody else. Oh, is that Grandma? It's Norma Rowe again. She's coming back. And the intros are shorter. Okay. Thank you. Love you, Grammy. Oh, my God. Oh my God. I love how tight these drum kits have been too. Oh, they're just so simple. Dude, how is Travis Scott gonna fit over this beat? I, I, I do not know how this is gonna happen. Okay. Up on the hop, hit his curve up, slide it. Notice when you mad, ain't no words, just silence. Drew my fair face, car, got an ID. Sell me, go to Perry. It ain't five star, it ain't me. Over solid, keep it concrete. I'ma bet it on your whole feet. Stone, switch, keep it relief. Anything, just don't I care. I guess I gotta go. I guess it's time to go. I like his backing ones though. Ooh. Okay, with these little environment come out of nowhere. Where are we? It's transported somewhere. <laughs> We're not in the song anymore. Ooh, that's kind of fire. Okay, that was just that was just straight up random. Just with the whole like auto tune Travis Scott voice, I just with all these like natural sounding drums, I just feel like the the vibe kind of clashes a bit. The next tune is called "I Hate You," produced by Sir Dylan. Thank God for Cody, Rob Bizell, and Carter Lang. She hates us. Oh God, I don't think I can take it. Please, what did I do, SZA? Oh, I think I've only heard some snippets of this, but I think this was one of the singles. 
can't no conflict with you, boy. Can we just rub it out? I don't want no savvy. Oh, why can't we just rub it out? Dude, her her answer to problems is sex. I mean, sex is dope. Oh my god, the octaves. Wow. And if you wonder if I hate you. Oh my god. Missionary be hitting sometimes though. Don't count on missionary when you're really in love. Dude, that's what she does too. She says, if I if I feel shitty, you're gonna feel shitty. <laughs> I'm not trying to give no advice. Like, I definitely don't have a perfect relationship. But, like, I mean, usually you try to meet somebody with, like, a little a little kinder than, than like, oh, you made me feel shitty. Now I need to inflict that upon you. Like, that's not, obviously that's not healthy, you know. But, god damn, it makes for a catchy-ass song. Oh, I love that little, for you. Oh, so satisfying, bro. So good. The next song is Good Days. I have heard this one. Of course, it has 640 million plays. How could you have not? Let's jam. Instagram stays suggesting this song to me. Good day in my mind, seems to take a step out. Get some end now, let's all edge out. To some ice, but you'll be heavy in my mind. Can you get the heck out? I need rest now. Got me bummed out. The heck out. She's censored now. Love the constantly flowing guitar. Just heavenly. Ethereal. Having this song close to the end. So nice, man. Oh my god, is that who is that Jacob Collier? It literally, it literally is Jacob Collier. I swear to God, I did not see that. I swear to God, I was not trying to read that on Genius, bro. I was like, there's no way. There's no way those harmonies can come from anybody else except Jacob Collier. I had no idea he was on this song. <laughs> wow. Oh, Dude, the bass kind of crumbling out of it instead of a high-end cymbal. Such a cool, just like transition release of energy. Oh my god, the amount of vocals in here, the stacks are insane, I bet. Half of us laying waste to our youth. Wow, the fountain of youth is in the present. Oh, living in the moment is how you stay youthful. Not reminiscing on old. Oh, wow, dude. Wow. Yeah, affirmation station, bro. Good days. There was a little Avatar The Last Airbender riff in there, too. Oh, Jake. Jake. Oh, wow. Is he not just, like, magical? He's like a little elf. <laughs> wow. Such a cool and just overall beautiful song. How ethereal is just all of those instruments. Like, I feel like they were just sculpted in Lord of the Rings and brought over here and says is just like, yo... This is tight. Can I make it like a bop? <laughs> Last track. Forgive less. Not forgiveness. Forgive less. One word. She's ending the album salty, I feel. Featuring old dirty bastard. Hey, yo, oh. Yo, 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 I'm the original G-O-D. Making young ladies oh, scream shit. and laugh. Is this like an old freestyle? Girl, get hot from the funky 
Oh my god, this flow. competition, it is what it is. You don't mind second fiddle, that's why you a bitch. You don't think for yourself, and that's none of my business. <laughs> you take it, I did shit. I'm genie three wishes. But if I try, you think out loud if it's gone. Oh my god, this flow. Oh wow. Might forgive, might forgive. Not gonna forget. Yo, this is how fucking nice. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I have no I have no words. I have no words. I've never I've never in my in my in my 28 years living in Atlanta, have I ever heard the N-word be used like that? What the fuck? What an absolutely wild freestyle. Just to have on in, at the end of the song, like, dude, <laughs> I don't care about consequences. I want my lick back. Idle minds watching get to pushing your wig back. Oh, she's, she's coming with the right hook. Starting the album with violence and then also ending the album with violence, I feel like is a little poetic in a way. Dude, that's going to be a wrap on the SZA album. I, I, I had a blast, dude. I don't know about you guys, but it just feels good to have a SZA like back in the old like bloodstream. Like honestly, there's so much content on this album. I feel like SZA fans are just going to be like munching on these for a while and she really put her whole her whole foot in this album bro like there isn't i really don't think there's like a single song that i'm like not vibing with like all of it is just really beautiful production and then with her pen game just evolving at every fucking turn dude like oh my god my favorite songs i think have to be smoking on my x pack Ghost in the Machine, Kill Bill, Blind, Snooze, Shirt is a bop, but I'm not going to put it in my favorites, though, because I feel like putting the singles in the, in the favorites is kind of like, okay, well, everybody kind of likes those songs. Ooh, no. Conceited is so good, dude. Conceited and special and too late. Fuck, dude. There's honestly a lot of really good ones. I think I feel like, I feel like my only one that I didn't really love was probably probably open arms yeah open arms was all right but other than that dude i feel like that's a pretty damn damn good album i'm glad this is back so thanks for tuning in appreciate you guys rocking with me if you want to keep the party going there's gonna be a video or two on screen right now that's gonna be a wrap for your boy as always stay happy healthy and strong follow me on all my social media and i'll see you in the next one